This was a quick do-it-yourself project to retrofit an inexpensive sewing machine with a uh, high-powered DC motor from a surplus electronics shop here and an 8-core microcontroller, the parallax propeller for motion control. So this is the uh, entire setup. The motor was a little bit too big, so I had to improvise a bit with some discarded uh, press board. This board has the propeller, USB chip, and sensor amplifier. And the sturdy box in the front has the motor driver chip, uh, motor drive capacitor, and main power supply. I removed most of the electronics from the pedal to turn it into a simple input device for the microcontroller. The microcontroller supports several motion control modes. This is open loop mode. The pedal pressure determines the amount of power delivered to the motor. If the machine encounters additional resistance, it slows down. Across the entire speed range, the motor is much quieter and performs much better than the original sewing machine motor, but it's still easy to stall the motor at slow speeds. The sewing machine now includes sensors, which can be used by the microcontroller to estimate the position and the speed of the needle. This is used for the next mode, servo mode, or closed loop feedback. In this mode, the pressure on the pedal determines the actual rotational speed of the main shaft in the sewing machine. If the motor encounters re resistance, the microcontroller just automatically increases the power to maintain the same speed. In servo mode, very slow speeds can be maintained smoothly without stalling the motor. This next mode is useful for detailed sewing, where you have to follow an intricate curve or change angles quickly. In this mode, the pedal pressure controls motor speed, just like in open loop mode. But as soon as you release the pedal, the needle always moves into the down position. This last mode is useful for very detailed work or for machine embroidery. The needle just follows the position of the pedal up or down. 